All right, so now we're gonna do some stuff with template context. Now, if you remember in the last one, I left this empty dictionary when I did this render call. And what we can do with templates is make them a lot smarter than just normal HTML. Because what we did so far is just show an HTML document being shown. It's not that big of a deal, other than the fact it doesn't say .html anywhere, which is cool, it just uses a slash. But I want to actually show some better stuff here. So what I'm going to do is use template context. So I can come inside of my view and I can pass things into this dictionary. So I'm going to call that dictionary context. Now you don't have to call it context, but context data is used in the class space view. So it's more of a convention to use just something like context or context data. So since I'm going to be calling that variable context, I'm going to change it here as well. And I'll pass in that very, uh, any arbitrary variable that I'd like. In this case, I'm gonna pass in title, and I'll just say list, right? So since I'm doing this, I'm gonna do the same thing for all these other ones, but just change the variable to the respected view. Well, I'm not gonna do it for all of them right now because we'll have to update them otherwise elsewhere, but I will do it for at least one of them. Paste in here and change this context to detail, all right? So notice the, uh, the template itself is the same on both of them. The context is just slightly different. So let's go into our template in index.html, and we're gonna now put the title here. So to put the context variable in, we use double curly brackets and title, or the actual variable name that we set inside of the context dictionary, right? So this right here is what's being right here. Just make sure those curly brackets are there. So we save that and we go back into our list view and we see the list is working. I think we did it on detail otherwise. So we go detail, detail is working. Um, so that's context, not really that complicated, right? So it's actually allowing us to do all sorts of things here and making our templates a lot smarter. So since we're still talking about templates, there might be one more thing that we can mention here um, with our context is if the user is authenticated or not. So we could say inside of our request here, we could say if request.user.is authenticated. So if they're logged in, basically, we can have one kind of context. And then otherwise, we can have another. So I put an else clause here. So I have two different kinds of context here. And what I'll say now is I'll say my user list or something like that. Um, and this is giving us two very different looks at the context or at least what's going on here. Now I can also change the actual template that is coming through too, if I wanted to do that. But let's actually test it with just the context changing. So um, inside of index, we see here, I refresh, it says my user list is working. The reason the user is authenticated is because if I go to log um, to my admin, well, I'm still logged in. So if I log out of my admin, uh, which I just did, refresh in here and now it says the list is working. So that's how our context works. It can work off of using very basic conditionals from Python um, or we could make it even more dynamic by using something called a query set that is information from our database. And that's really what we wanna see on this post list. I don't need to see whether or not they're authenticated. So I'm gonna go ahead and comment that out. It's gonna be deleted very soon, but I'm leaving it in there so you can see it. Actually, I might as well leave the entire thing in there, comment it out so you guys can see it otherwise. And then I'll just put that context back that we wanted originally. Refreshed, list. Cool, so regardless of if they're logged in or not, um, it's gonna be list. All right, so in the next one, we will actually introduce query sets and put that into our post list. So if you have any questions on this, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.